Have you ever wondered what would happen if two planets collided in the solar system? The sheer scale of destruction would be undoubtedly massive, but over several billion years, new planets may rise from the ashes and could even potentially host life. This is exactly what happened to Earth 4.5 billion years ago. And now scientists have just detected the biggest planetary collision ever observed. Let's talk about this discovery and how the violent event unfolded. While we have a good understanding of Earth and Thea's collision, discovering similar events in other star systems could offer insights into why Earth is distinct from other planets. Uncovering another planetary collision is always exciting, but what makes this one stand out is its immense scale. The impact was so powerful and destructive that it dimmed the entire star system and the star itself by a staggering 95%. The violent event was captured by an automated system called the All Sky Automated Survey for supernovae. This system keeps an eye on various stars looking for sudden changes in brightness. Such changes often signal significant events like a sudden supernova. In 2021, a unique event caught their attention. Instead of getting brighter, a sun-like star rapidly dimmed, dropping as much as 95% in luminosity. What made it even more interesting is that two and a half years before this dimming, there was a significant increase in infrared brightness. This event occurred about 18,000 light years away from us, but advanced telescopes were able to capture and analyze the details, providing some answers to the intriguing observations. Firstly, the star in question appears to be relatively young, around 300 million years old. Not a newborn, but still in its youthful phase. Something very intense happened to it, and it happened rapidly. However, it didn't cause any permanent changes to the star. The unusual dip in brightness was a temporary event. The changes observed were quite intriguing, especially when looking at different types of light emitted by the star. Optically, the star became extremely dim, even surpassing the famous Tabby's star, which had led to speculation about possible alien technology, like a gigantic Dyson sphere. However, in this case, further analysis revealed distinct signs of various types of dust, ruling out the alien tech hypothesis. What made this star particularly interesting was the significant dimming, especially when examining the infrared spectrum. There was a noticeable and dramatic brightening, indicating a temperature of about 1000 Kelvin. This brightness resembled what we often see around protoplanetary disks, hot disks that surround young stars. Moreover, the star had doubled in brightness about three years before the drastic dimming. Considering these effects align with expectations of what occurs when two objects collide, the prevailing conclusion is that a collision took place. This collision likely caused the temporary changes observed in the star's behavior. In recent years, astronomers have observed significant dust formations resulting from various impacts around different stars. Take the star named HD 166191, for instance, where just a year ago, similar changes in luminosity and an overall increase in infrared light were noted. This suggested the sudden release of a substantial amount of hot gas and the prevailing explanation was a collision between two planetesimals, relatively small planetary bodies. Additionally, the V488 Percy disk has been a hotspot for such detections. This young disk experiences frequent planetesimal collisions, illustrating the repetitive nature of these events. In all these instances, there was a noticeable change in infrared brightness and typically a slight dimming of the star. When two objects collide, 
the initial result is essentially an explosion that produces a significant amount of hot gas. Following this, the gas starts to form a large, donut-like shape around the star, somewhat similar to a ring. This ring, depending on its position and angle, can effectively block the starlight, making the star appear dimmer. To paint a picture, a substantial collision generates a substantial amount of dust that eventually forms a ring-like shape, covering most of the star in the process. The expected outcomes of this scenario are an increase in infrared brightness and a decrease in optical brightness. This is exactly what was observed three years ago, and it aligns with the expected outcomes of a large planetary collision. Initially, there was a dramatic drop in visible light when the dust covered the star. All signs pointed towards a substantial planetary collision, but further analysis has unveiled that the collision was much larger than previously anticipated. We are not just talking about two planetesimals or small bodies producing a bit of dust. This event involved two massive planets, potentially similar to Neptune, colliding at high velocities, essentially annihilating each other. Hey spacers, planetary collisions are devastating, but what's even worse is not being subscribed to our channel. So please hit that subscribe button and the bell icon for more videos on the mysteries of space. And now, on to the collision. The collision generated a bright flash and an immense amount of energy, equivalent to what the star typically produces in two years. This intense explosion is why it caught the attention of the automated supernova survey, making it both mysterious and unusual. Through careful examination of the details, the researchers involved in the study believe they now have a clear understanding of the extraordinary event, an epic collision between two large planets with consequences that echoed across space. Two Neptune-like planets somehow ended up in the same orbit, leading to a colossal explosion when they collided. The exact reason for this collision is unclear, but some changes in their orbits must have caused them to intersect at some point. The energy released during this collision resembled a small nova-like explosion, visible to various telescopes. In the following two and a half years, not much was observed, except when looking in the infrared. The entire system started to illuminate significantly, forming a torus-shaped ring orbiting the star system. This ring produced heat around it with a very hot remnant at the center, likely even hotter than the star itself. Interestingly, the temperature of the torus shape was not as high as expected for terrestrial planets, which should have been at least 1400 Kelvin. Due to this, it's now believed that these were not terrestrial planets, but more likely gas giants resembling Neptune-like worlds. The collision was incredibly massive and powerful. When the two planets exploded, they generated an intensely hot blob of silica, likely at least seven times larger than our Sun. This enormous molten mass glowed intensely for a few months before spreading out and forming a ring shape around the star. Then, in 2021, we witnessed the unusual dimming of the star as this ring passed in front of it, blocking 95% of the light. This entire process, from the collision to the dimming, took approximately three years to complete. Scientists believe that the orbit of these planets was likely very similar to Jupiter in our solar system. In this scenario, approximately 20 to 40 times the mass of Earth was completely vaporized, forming a massive plasma-like structure. A small portion of this structure condensed into a central hot object, which is poised to become a new planet, potentially with several moons. This process mirrors, in some ways, how Earth and the Moon formed from a collision 4.5 billion years ago. However, in this case, the formation of a new planet 
and potential moons may take at least a few thousand years. It's unlikely that we'll witness the emergence of moons or specific formations anytime soon. Nevertheless, this star system offers a valuable opportunity to study the intricate details of what occurs when two planets collide and to draw connections to the formation of Earth and the Moon. Currently, the plan is to continue observing the star system to track any changes. If the assumption and explanation are correct, it's anticipated that the debris field will gradually spread out into a wider orbit, creating a more diffuse formation. This should be observable in future observations, as it intermittently blocks starlight when parts of it pass in front of the star. The fact that scientists were able to detect such a dramatic and massive explosion suggests that planetary collisions might not be as rare as initially thought. These events could occur in various star systems, potentially yielding similar effects on a star system and even leading to the formation of somewhat similar planets. To comprehend how Earth formed and why it is the way it is, understanding the history of its formation, starting with collisions like these, becomes crucial. So, what do we think space is? Is our solar system safe from such collisions or could history repeat itself once more? Please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of new and awesome space content. Thank you for spacing out with us and see you next video.